Hello, my name is Stephen King. I am a solutions engineer here at Microscan Systems. I would like to tell you about a new product we are introducing called PanelScan. First, I will tell you what PanelScan is. Second, I will describe what the components of the PanelScan system are. Finally, I will demonstrate how to use the PanelScan system to scan a panel. So, what is PanelScan? Martin printed circuit boards are often made in panel form where there are a number of duplicate boards on each panel. Each board on the panel is marked with a barcode or data matrix so it can be tracked through the assembly process. Marks are either on labels as you see here or they can be laser etched onto the boards. The need is to be able to read all of these very small marks in one very large field of view. The need is also to be able to set up a new production run of boards quickly and easily. This is what the panel scan system has been designed to do. So, what are the components of the panel scan system? First, the panel scan system is typically mounted over a conveyor down which these panels will run. The panel scan system consists of one or two line scan cameras, each of which is capable of imaging a 10 inch wide swath of the board. The line scan system also consists of two focused line lengths that focuses a bright band of light right where the line scan camera is looking. The last physical component of the system is a trigger that allows the system to trigger on the leading edge of the board as it moves underneath the panel scan system. All of the processing from the system is handled on an external PC. We will now describe how to set up the system for a production run of panels. In practice, an operator will come to the system with a stack of panels that have already been marked and that need to be read. All of the data from these panels will be stored in a file that can be accessed by all of the other production machines down the line. To set up the system, the operator simply has to take note of how many rows and how many columns of boards there are on the panel. He will then take the panel and place the panel at the beginning of the conveyor. The user has placed the panel in the beginning of the conveyor. They now walk up to the system and see this screen. If this panel has never been run before, they click on the New File button. In this dialog, they are able to enter data about this current production run as well as data about the board. In the second tab, here is where they enter the number of rows and number of columns of boards on that panel. At this point, they can simply click Finish. The system automatically creates an inspection routine for reading the codes at all of those positions. For the next step, the user tells the system to take a picture and then runs a board underneath the cameras. The system triggers on the leading edge of the board and then presents this picture to the system. For the next step, the user clicks on the Teach Layout button. Here they're prompted by the Teach Wizard to click on the upper left hand label and then on the lower right hand label on that panel. The system will then automatically scan and lay out all of the reading windows. Here you can see that the, all the labels on the board have been read. The system is now ready to go into run mode. The user simply clicks on the button to go into run mode and then starts running panels. As a panel goes under the system, again, all of the codes are read. All the data from the panel is concatenated into a single string that you see here. These strings are in turn written out to a log file. 
It's this day that is used by the rest of the assembly machines on the line. If, perchance, the code was not read, the buttons up here would show up as red. The user could click on one of those buttons. It would show them a high resolution image of that label and it would show him what data has been read here. The user can zoom in and can zoom out and then resume inspecting the rest of the stack of panels. Again, the system has been trained and the user is able to take the stack of panels and start running them down the conveyor one by one 